Hey, how's it going? So in this video, I want to show you and talk to you about how we achieved almost a 13 times return on ad spend for one of our partners using this Titan strategy. And the reason I'm calling it is because one, um, I like superheroes and comic books and stuff like that. And two, um, it's just what came to my head when I thought of this strategy. So just a little bit of backstory for you, that, for you guys that don't know. This is Bane. He is a comic book character that um, pretty much is like super small, super tiny. And then he takes this stuff called Titan and it pretty much jacks him up and turns him into like this crazy monster, right? But it's short. It's, you know, I was thinking about calling this, you know, the sprint strategy. I wasn't sure really what to frame it as. So I picked Titan, but kind of same difference. You know, it's short. You kind of just, you know, you start it, you get the results, you stop it, and then you do it again. So you kind of, you, it's not something that you're doing ongoing, the strategy. They're quick bursts. They're quick sprints of ROAS to help inject into your business. <clears throat> and that's kind of the backstory of why I chose the Titan strategy, right? Because he pretty much just injects himself with this Titan, gets super jacked, and then <laughs> puts it back down again. So that's the background here for you guys that don't know. What's the big idea here? So the big idea here, and let me just make this a little bigger for you guys. The big idea here is three times a year. Um, you could do four, but or once a quarter. Um, I, I think around two, three times a year is a really good, you know, kind of way to do this. But <clears throat> whichever you choose, three times a year, run a highly valuable workshop for free. Uh, there's a little caveat there. That's why that little star is there. And I'll get to that here in a little bit because there's actually ways that you can make a little bit of upfront money from this. Sprint or Titan offers. This doesn't have to necessarily be your main offer. You can pilot a lot of stuff here, right? This is a testing ground. You should use this as a testing ground. And we do this through paid and organic marketing. Um, if you have a list, I would recommend testing it first with your organic audience before pumping ad spend into it. Um, because once you prove it organic, then you can start testing with a little bit of money. Then you prove it even more. You can start testing with more money and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> that's the big idea here is to use this as a testing ground, use this to inject some cash flow into your business and um, a really simple way to just give a ton of value and get more people in your ecosystem. So let me first break down the numbers here really quickly. Let me zoom in over here. So here are the numbers from when we ran this and I'm just showing two examples right now. Um, but we've done this, I think six or maybe seven times, and we're about to do another one here in a little bit, um, with this specific partner of mine. So here are the results for the first time we did it. Ten and a half thousand dollars in ad spend. This is after we tested it on organic. So just heads up on that. Um, we knew that this was something that was proven. We knew this was something that people wanted because people bought it on his list. Um, we sent 1400 people to the landing page. 375 people, so 26% opted in to get and sign up for this free workshop. And with this workshop, it's a three-day experience um, with a bonus day. So I'll kind of clarify that in a little bit. And we only got one VIP sale. We added this near the last minute. This is an upsell that people can take. Um, so once they opt in for the main free workshop, um, for the free masterclass, for the free um, you know, online mastermind session, whatever you want to frame it as. Once they opted in for that, they had a chance to upgrade their, their ticket um, and pretty much get an extra day of coaching for free that was a little bit more intimate, right? So the cost per lead here was 27 bucks. This isn't great, but for our first time running it, we got some testing in, we got some good things out of the way, we figured out what works and what didn't. Just from this alone, um, we had all these results right here, and this actually needs to get adjusted here, 75. Um, so we had 375 signups total, or sorry, 500 signups total, because some of this was from organic. That's, that's my bad. So this is from paid. This is kind of the total. So an extra 100 or so from organic, 10 VIP sales, 21 calls booked at $500 per call, and 11 enrollments. We spent 66 grand, you know, or sorry, this was 66 grand cash in, six and a half times return on ad spend. The very first time we did it, this is directly from paid. It was a little bit more probably closer to seven or even eight ROAS, including the paid signups. Um, but overall, really solid stuff. <clears throat> then the next time we did it, we cranked it up a little bit more. We spent almost, we spent $7,000 more. With that, we got 3,000 people to the page, 983 opt-ins, and a 30% conversion rate on that page. So our conversion rate bumped up a little bit. We learned some stuff. We figured out how to get things working a little bit better. And we got eight VIP sales. So not bad. 
Our cost per lead also dropped by around 10 bucks, so that's awesome. And then from that, our total results, we spent 17 grand, opt-ins, VIPs, and we got 12 enrollments at $108,000 from only 17 grand spent, 6.17 ROAS. So just about the same every time we actually went a little bit lower here and there's a couple reasons why and let me go through the mistakes that we made so you can learn from it but these are kind of the numbers you should be shooting for we've done this like i said three four times and every time it's very similar to this and just in these two combined within the three months span within each other we get we hit that 12 and a half row s very quickly very very easily so there's that the mistakes we made since this is a three-day workshop, this is something that we needed to kind of pre-sell and get people in. So the biggest concern for us was, okay, we need to make sure that we fill this up as soon as possible. We need to make sure that we give ourselves enough time. And we need to make sure that we, on top of that, are um, following up with people so they actually show up for the three-day workshop because we're advertising a week or two out. So we started our test, and, and I think this is one of our first ones. We started testing December 19th, and we started ramping up by December 27th, right? Because we had to test some ads, prove some ads, and then scale them up from there. But what ended up hurting us bad is we ramped up way too quickly after testing um, because we were really, really anxious to get those, you know, the goal of the 1500 signups or whatever it is that we wanted at that time. And the cost per lead jumped. Pretty much we realized that, okay, we're not giving ourselves enough time. We need to start advertising this two weeks in advance instead of a week or a week and a half. Um, so that is something that's huge. And now that we have more data, the more times that we do it, the better that we're going to get. Because now we have all this data from the past three or four that we've done. We can say, hey, these are our top performing ads. This is our landing page opt-in rate. Let's get this to 50%. Let's improve the VIP sign-up rate. And we know where we can improve. So that's why I highly recommend <clears throat> starting with a lower spend. I know both of these spends are fairly high um, for some people, but start lower and scale it up from there. There's no, you're always going to regret spending too much money. Um, I mean, you'll regret both spending too little and hoping you got more, but you'll really regret spending too much money and not getting anything. So rather start small, scale up from there um, instead of, you know, doing it the other way around. Those are the mistakes we made. I'll touch on some other stuff too. Why does this work? Well, it works really well because it's seasonal. So every time we promote it, we put a different angle on top of the promotion. So new year, new business is what we did this year. We can do a summer one, which is what we're about to do now. Memorial Day, July 1st, end of the year, Christmas. You know, you can make it seasonal. And when you make these marketing campaigns seasonal, you can actually get a little bit better results just by making it seasonal. It's super interesting. Second, the reason it works is because we are giving away the farm. We're giving so much value on these workshops that people are like, oh my gosh, if this is what I'm getting in this three-day, maybe four-day workshop, if they sign up for the VIP, what is this paid coaching program look, look like? What is this paid course going to look like? The, the full thing. Don't be afraid to deliver, to, to over deliver on your value. Because when you do, people are going to feel like they owe you something and they're going to join your program. You can never give away too much value. Always give, 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 right? It was also super low barrier. It's a free three-day workshop. You know, we got a ton of people in. And sure, not every single person was the best fit, but that's okay. We just wanted to get our name out there get people in. And the more people we got in, we knew it was just a numbers game, the more that would convert. And the reason why is because over those three days, it's a pitch that's building up. It's not like a pitch that just happens on the third day. And it's like, hey, join our coaching program. It's 20 grand, right? And like, what the heck? We're building it up over those three days. So that's super, super important. So, and that's what that filters people is all about. It filters them by taking them through the three or four day process. Like I said, it's held, the, the structure of it is it's held over three days plus a bonus day. Um, and that bonus day is essentially made into an upsell. And I'm gonna walk through the landing page structure and then I'll kind of end that case study here. But here's what the funnel looks like. They would essentially go here, they can sign up as a quick little video, they could sign up for the workshop. And then on the upsell page, there's a little section like this, watch this three minute video to see how you can get even more out of the workshop. They can watch it and add, you know, a fourth day and, um, you know, get a live Q&A at the end of every day. So the value is really big here. And we sold this for around 197 I think, that they could add it as a one-time thing and kind of upgrade their ticket, right? And that worked really well. You know, the first time we did it, we made the mistake of not adding the VIP upsell in until near the very end when I recommended it, when I saw that everything else was starting to check out. 
So that's why it's a lower conversion rate. And this conversion rate isn't bad, but I would definitely like to see this this next time go up to you know, 10, 15%, um, which we're gonna do by just really, really honing in on the offer. With the landing page structure as a whole, just think about you know going down the landing page, call out your niche, your logo and your social proof, quick little video you explaining the workshop and selling it, and then a headline with a big, bold claim. I think that's big, big, bold claim. This is super important, right? Offer something and, and give a claim where people are like, no way, like there's no way I can do that, right? There's no way that this is what I'm going to learn on this thing. You want them to doubt it. And then, you know, obviously you want to make sure you can deliver, but you want it to be this crazy thing like, holy crap, there's no way I can do that, right? Then tell them, hey, here's who this workshop is for. Then just simply showcase every single day, say day one, day two, day three, and then say VIP bonus day for our VIP ticket people, right? So you're kind of already teasing that VIP upgrade idea. In your When you're showcasing what they're getting um, and what they're getting in each day, make sure you call out two things, or I guess three. Make sure you call out the features and benefits. So what are the features that they're going to get? And what benefits are they going to get after watching? And then make sure you lay out their current and desired situation. Hey, currently you're doing these things and you are struggling with these things because you're doing those things. And hey, this is what you should be doing instead of those other things. And this is what your life's going to look like if you start doing those things. Then show who's presenting. Hey, you know, this is being presented by XYZ. Then just some quick frequently asked questions and then a ton of social proof. Uh, more so like case studies or client testimonials. Um, and that's essentially it. It's a super simple strategy. Like I said, the Titan strategy is just a quick cash injection into your business. Not only is it a cash injection, you allow yourself to test, you allow yourself to grow your business and get your name out there by hosting these little workshops. And then on top of that, even if no one shows up the first time, that's fine. You've learned something and hopefully you listen and spend just a little bit of money. Um, even if no one shows up, at least now you know what works, what doesn't, and you have a piece of content that you can resell in the future. Even if you do three of these a year, you can make them these huge things that you know really are big drivers to your business. They're your big marketing campaigns for the year. They're your, they're your rocks in your marketing campaign every year. You run those. Um, and then from there, that's how you can drum up new business every year. You know that that's always going to be there. And then people almost look forward to them. So let me know if this was helpful. Start using the strategy, start formulating your workshop. And if you have any ideas or questions, just feel free to reach out. What you can do to reach out to me is just shoot me an email right here, nicholas at scalelabgroup.com. So if you have any questions, um, you know, shoot me an email here and make the subject tight. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. So hope you enjoyed this case study. There should be more all over this page. Go out there, implement this thing, take imperfect action on it, and start to drum up new business for yourself on autopilot without depending on anyone else besides yourself.